When you open up MATLAB, this is the screen that you see. The first thing we're going to do is go to Import Data. We'll select that and we're going to select a spreadsheet. We'll select this one, Road Accidents. And you'll see that that appears in its own window. And in this particular spreadsheet, there are actually two worksheets. The one we want here is actually the one called temperature data. And you see it's already selected for us what it thinks is the data we need. So indeed, there's two columns. One's called temp and one's called fatalities. And it's already selected that. So we'll just go import selection. We'll select that. Now we can close this. And what you can see is now that road accidents spreadsheet appears as a named variable in the workspace. If you double click on this, then you can see that it's imported exactly the values that we wanted. Let's select this column, the temperature column. And what we're going to do now is right click and give this a variable name. We'll, create, we'll call that the new numeric array. And you see down here, that numeric array of temperature has appeared. Go back to this, and they'll do the same for fatalities. So now we've got two arrays, fatalities and temperature. So MATLAB knows that we've got an array of values called temperature, an array of values called fatalities. And now what we want to do is some analysis on that data. And what we're going to do here is go to apps and go to the curve fitting. So this brings up another window over here. And we're just going to now select the X data is going to be temperature. The Y data is going to be fatalities. And you can see that by default it's plotting this as a polynomial with one degree, which means it's a linear correlation. I could try and plot it at two degrees. It tries to fit a curve there, but we'll go with the one degree because that's a normal linear correlation. And there is the best line fit. So the intercept value is 245 and the gradient, or the coefficient of the x value is 2.144. That's given us our linear regression equation with all of the various R squared statistics, etc. accuracy things over here. And that's all there is to it.